In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty. Oi, for set me eyes on sweet Molly Malone. Alright, what's the crack? Paul here, out and about on the main streets of Dublin. Down here at the Molly Malone statue, alright? Just thought it'd be a cool starting point before I wander up Grafton Street and show you Dublin City Centre's main high street hangout spot and just one of, one of the best known streets places to come in Dublin, alright? So, Molly Malone, alright? She's a very important figure in Dublin folklore. One of the first songs you learn going to primary school in Dublin is the song about Molly Malone, alright? The one I just sang at the start. She's a mythological figure, right? There's some debate over whether she actually existed or not, whether she's a, a real person or just based on a sort of, you know, a symbol of Dublin women in general of the time. She was a fishmonger, as the song lyric goes. A street hawker, she used to sell fish and whatnot during the day. And so the legend goes, she was a lady of the night as well, all right? That's uh, debated over whether she, she did a... Uh, have some of the oldest fun in the world via the oldest profession in the world but uh, yeah just skip over that the most important thing about her is that she was a very buxom beautiful wench as you can see if i zoom in here without doubt the most important feature of molly is her buxom bosom <laughs> right people uh, like to come and fondle her which i'm not i think it's a bit silly and childish you know you see spanish kids and all, all people and everyone coming up and uh, fondling her. A bit of respect for Molly please. All right. Beautiful damsel of old, of yore. Beautiful buxom wench. Respect the breasts but uh, yeah. Don't be, don't be manhandling her please. So this is a lovely little statue. This was built actually only a few years ago because of uh, the new Lewis line which goes down the bottom of Grafton Street. So we moved it up there. And, uh, I think it's a better spot for it actually. It's, I think it's become an even bigger tourist attraction since it was moved over the <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, there's actually nobody really at it there. Cause it's a late and bleak January night. Often it'll be surrounded by people grabbing, grabbing out Molly's uh, bosom. So uh, yeah, just look casual vlog. It's cold. Ba hashtag Baltic. Hashtag won't take. But I'm trying to get into the winter mode for these late nights, late night vlogs, you know, because I do like the lights out and about. But it's hard to uh, it's hard to get into a, a bit of a mad buzz when it's so cold. So just show you, point out a couple of spots on Grafton Street, right? Nothing crazy, just a casual vlog of one of the main, not only tourist attractions, but for locals as well, of course, people. Uh, obviously, dubs, Dubliners, come and hang out here for the bars, the shops. Uh, right here at the bottom, actually, is one of the best known bars, one of the most exclusive yuppie bars in Dublin. It's called the uh, Keep it at that side, I think. <laughs> Lily's, Lily's Bordello, you see it over there? Lily's, it's probably the most uh, exclusive and so uh, that's where all the local, see list celebrities go and hang out, you know? <laughs> Hey, what's up? Are you vlogging? Yeah, what's up? Are you actually a vlogger? Yeah, yeah. Are you famous? No, I'm not. Oh, what's your YouTube channel? Paul Morrissey, my name. Well, we'll be oh, famous Paul now with two beautiful women on it. It's gonna be... Uh, this, can this I, can gonna I gonna do go this? Oh, no. no. I respect all our religions and codes, but... Uh, Colts? We're not a cult. Codes, codes. Oh, shoot, okay. Uh, I thought you said cults. But Mormons are cults. Uh, <laughs> we're not a cult. You can't put it on the internet, that's false information. We're a religion, we're Christians. But I'm not in the mood for proselytizing, you know. Oh, that's okay. Well, can I just share a website with you? Aren't the Mormons the one that that guy just made up, Joseph Smith? No, he didn't make it up because he couldn't write a 531 page book as a 14 year old who had no education. Oh, right, but you know he was like a 
bigamist. Like, of an extreme of nature. What? He was into bigamy. He had like many concubines and wives. Oh, you mean polygamy? Sorry, polygamist. Not no, so. Okay, do you want me to explain why he has so many wives? Go on, actually. What he is actually that? had no sexual relations with any of them other than his first wife, Emma, Emma Hill. Do you believe this? No, this yeah. is true. This okay. is fact. It can't be and fact. You can Google it. So he didn't have any sexual relations with any of them. He just got married legally with them under his okay. name because no, no, back then women couldn't like own land. I'm just getting tired. I'm going to switch it. Okay, women couldn't women own land. Women couldn't own land and a lot of men were dying, especially Mormons, because people were killing Mormons. There was like an extermination. But can, can, I, by the like, can I just interject around? I'm an atheist. Okay. More or less. And like, my thing is, what what makes you so sure that yours is the best, your religion? How, isn't the fact that there are so many religions, doesn't it just show that they're all, they all try to outdo each other? That they all, you know, it was like, so Christianity produced the Bible and then like 800 years later, the Quran came along, you know, for people in the Middle East who felt excluded by the Bible. And it's like, oh, this one's going to have a few little nuanced differences. And then throughout the 16th, 17th, 18th century, later on, they're all the Methodists, the Protestants, the Baptists, they all started like coming out with nuanced differences. Our church is better, come with us. And why? For power, for money. Fair point. Yeah. I think um, it's because people are always searching for truth. And so mm. when they find new truth, a lot of people get confused and so they'll start their own church on different yeah. things that they find. But I do think that if there is a God, that he would have he would have a true church. Would he care? Would he care about all these politics and groups? Like, you know? He wouldn't care about them, but he cares about us. For his children. And so he wants us to find the best way to get to back and like, to live with him again. Because mm -hmm. we believe that God is our Father. Mm -hmm. And that's the message that we share as missionaries. We share a message okay. of love. Not of like hate or of like saying we're better than you. Mm -hmm. That's not our job as missionaries. We just teach people about how you can find truth for yourself. Because that's a personal journey. Yeah. No one can tell you what is true, but only yourself. And you can yeah. find that out for yourself. But we love to have new people for like 30 minutes on another day and share that message with people. Sure, sure. I'll tell you what, because of the vlog, there's a nice little interjection. Thanks. That'd be fun and if people are interested, they can, they can read up our Mormons, but I'll probably just carry on. Can I just show this website? They're on your way. For sure. Thank you, ladies. Have a, Have a good night. See ya. Bye bye. All right. Whoa. Fatum in the vlog. Fatum in the vlog. So, uh, Mormons. These two American ladies proselytizing about Mormonism. Look. I actually almost saw a blank face on it. I kind of felt like I, I ended the debate, and I often do with religious types. Overly uh, dogmatic religious types. Why, why are there so many of them? Why are there so many different offshoot groups? Surely isn't that just a sign of that? They're all just trying to out-politicize each other. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like get into religion on a Dublin vlog. That said, look, I do want to have interaction on the vlog, so I said I would, uh, I said I would entertain her, and give her a minute of my time because it's cool. I don't just want to be walking down the street by myself. I want people to come on and uh, have a bit of crack, you know? Um, I actually saw this madman on, in Bangkok just before I came back from Thailand. I could post a video to my Instagram. I still have it on my phone. He was like in this absolute frenzy. He was like, rah, 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 and like roaring down at the red light district. And uh, his wife came up to me because she saw me filming him. And I ended up talking to the dude. He was covered in sweat. And he was explaining how he used to be like a complete hedonist and live a life of debauchery and, and excess. He used to be a, a Muay Thai fighter. He's half Vietnamese, although he doesn't look very Asian. He's half Vietnamese, half American. I know. Anyway, he was a, a born again Christian. And I, I heard them out a little bit as well, but. I don't know, man. I'm like. Oh, born again, Mormonism team. I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Alright, um. I didn't really show much of Grafton Street, did I? I showed Lily's. Um, yeah, the point being here, lots of cool shops for the ladies to go shopping at. River Islands, Top Man. Give one, what happened? 
Captain America's cool. Nice job. Very cool burgers in there. And coming up to the top of Grand Street. Uh, it's quite enough out tonight. Baltic, hashtag Baltic, hashtag will take, hashtag subscribe. Uh, Grafton Barber, good barber shop. Everyone knows a lot of barber shops. Top of uh, Grafton is, of course, Stevens Green. Stevens Green, a uh, lovely park to hang out at. And you've got Stevens Green Shopping Centre as well. Uh, Alright. There we go, I think I'll finish, finish this vlog up at this point. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll probably do Stevens Green another day on a nice day. There it is right over there. Stevens Green Lewis. And up behind me is big night uh, nightlife spots, obviously coppers and all that thing. It'd be funny to check them out actually on a vlog, wouldn't it? See about doing a night uh, coppers or something like that some night. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope I didn't stay too long on that Mormon interjection. I thought it'd be polite and fun just to speak to them for a minute. And there you go, alright? Grafton Street and Molly Malone. Voila. Muchas gracias. Good to meet you, Sheila. Ciao. Paul. In Dublin. Subscribe.